Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the sixth in a series of video tutorials on how to create a first person shooter in Unity 5. So this episode we're going to be looking at creating some GUI. So we're going to try and create a crosshair using Unity's UI system. And we'll also be looking a little bit into animation to animate the GUI when we fire our weapon. So we'll start by going to Game Object, UI, and going to Raw Image. Now you'll see down here you'll have a canvas and you'll see raw image just below and then event system. The canvas, if we double click, this is kind of a way of displaying uh, what you see on screen. So all UI that you see will appear here. Anything below that in the child is what's connected to the canvas. So in this case, the raw image. The event system is part of it. Don't worry too much about that for now. So if we go to our raw image, let's right click, rename, and let's call this up curse for short. And what we want to do is we want to position it in the center. If we go to the, let's get rid of that. Uh, go to our anchor preset just here, so this little icon. You'll see you have different ones. One we want, I think is already preset, which is dead center. So make sure that one is clicked and set the position as zero and zero and zero if you've got anything else there. Now let's zoom in a touch. So we want to make um, four of these which kind of create lines going up, down, left and right. So let's get this into a good shape. So if we select this icon here at the top, you'll see four blue circles around the edge. Let's just get this into a nice sort of shape for our GUI. Let's move it back into position about there. Press play to see how it looks. Uh, a bit thick, but I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I want to reduce the light a little so we can see it a bit better. So if we go to window and down to lighting, let's change our um, Intensity, let's just change it down a touch to uh, maybe 0.25. Change our ambient source to color. And let's, in fact, what blue first? Let's get rid of that directional light for now. In fact, no, do you know what? We won't. We'll actually play with this directional light. Let's reduce the intensity on it. And see how that looks. Okay, so it's darker, but it's a bit better. We'll change how it all looks uh, later on in the series. We'll make it look pretty nice. But for now, I want a kind of a, a little bit darker feel, so that'll do. So let's get back to editing this. Let's zoom in a touch more. Let's make it a little bit thinner. Maybe a width of i tell you what, let's manually edit over here. A width of three and height of, let's say, 25. Let's change the position on the X to zero. Um, let's change the position on the Y to 22. Okay, that looks fine. Now let's duplicate that, hold control, press D. Let's change the, uh, sorry, the position on the Y to minus 22, so we get it directly opposite. Right click, rename, let's call this down curse. Press play. Okay, so yep, that's looking a little better now. Now we do the left, so hold control, press D on down curse. And let's, in fact, let's rotate. Should we rotate? No, we, we won't. We'll change the actual width to 25 and the height to 3. And let's put the position on the Y as 0 and position on the X as minus 22. So you can see the pattern that's forming here. There is, between dead center, there's always 22 
between each of the cursors. So right click, rename, left curse, and then you guessed it once again, hold control press D. Let's rename this first. Oops, not create empty. Let's get rid of that. Right click, rename, and this is right curse. And let's put the position as 22. So now we should have a perfect kind of crosshair in the middle of our screen. And we do, which is pretty nice. So now I like to animate this when we fire. The crosshairs sprawl outwards slightly, then back in. So to do that, we need to set animations. Let's set a folder, because um, we, we did put our gunshot animation in the main um, asset folder just here. But this is going to be four different animations. So the best thing for us to do is right click and uh, create folder. And let's call this animations. So make sure you're in this animations folder before you do anything here. Click on up curse and then click on your animation tab just here. And then click on create. Let's call this up curse anim. And much in the same way as we did with the gun, we want to set um, this crosshair to go to flick up and then come back down into its original position. So it Firstly, we've got to set the original position. So if you remember, um, this is everything here. So it's got its anchored position right there. Because um, we want to eventually move it to, let's say, about, um, about there, only to come back down to there. So make sure these two little dots here represent your original settings, so 0 and 22. Let's go two frames in, and let's set this to, um, how about 26, and then let's go six frames in, and set it back to 22. So with any luck, when we press play, it should kind of move up and down quite a lot. Yes, it does. So hopefully you should know that the reason that that happens is because the animator is ticked. That constantly animates whatever is attached to this object. So we need to untick that. Let's do our down cursor next. So click on that, click on create, and that is down curse anim. Same again, we need to make sure that oops, that is set to zero and minus 22. Let's move to our second frame and let's set that to minus 26 and then again to our sixth frame and set that to minus 22. And press your little record button there and then untick animator. Let's do our left cursor now. Create. So left curse anim. And hopefully you've guessed it now. Make sure that you have that there. So just type in zero in there just to make sure. Um, second frame. Let's set that as minus 26. And then our sixth frame. Let's set that back to normal. And then record. See, the reason I attach multiple animations and do one to each is because it gives you a bit more freedom if you only want the two these two to move if you fire say a handgun and all of them to move if you say fire a rifle it later on you'll see how it enables you to only animate two things at once or all four or none or one or whichever you want so last one now right curse anim and then frame zero oops set that as zero Frame two. Next position, 26. And frame six. Next position is 22 again. And then hit that red record button, turn off animator. Make sure they're all, all 
sorry, all animators are turned off. Yep, they are. Okay, so now we've created our four animations. Hopefully when you click back on your project there, you should see eight different files. And that's just fine. So now we need to create a script, which, let's just press play. We need to create a script that when we fire our gun, our crosshairs animate. So if we go to scripts, right click, create, script, and let's just call this cross animate. And open up in mono develop. So what we need to do in this script when it's loaded up is create four different variables. Now these variables will be uh, the four crosshairs that we've just created. And all we'll need to do is to make sure when our button is pressed down to fire our gun, that these animate. So if you delete everything it's already given you, we'll start from scratch. We need to set um, the first variable, so var, and it's gonna be up, curse, and that is gonna be game object. Next one, var, down, curse, and that's gonna be another game object. And you've probably guessed it by now, left curse game object and then finally right curse it's game object okay so the function we're going to use is just the common function update so we need to run uh, this script every second sorry every frame i should say just to make sure that we are pressing our um, gun. So what we'll do is function update open close and open curly bracket and we need to do an if statement so if input dot get button down is attack which if you remember we have set in our uh, settings because we use the same one for when we fire our gun. Um, what's the word there? No, it's not attack, is it? It's. Oh, Joe, I can't remember what it is. Should we quickly check? It was on gunfire, wasn't it? It's fire one it's set as, not attack, sorry. So that should be fire one. Open curly bracket. And then we need to, so basically that's just saying, are we pressing the fire button? If we are, we just need to do up curse dot get component uh, animator, so open bracket, and then in quotes animator, close bracket, dot enabled equals true, and then semicolon. So all that's doing is that's referencing the up cursor because we'll set it in just a second in Unity itself and then getting the animator and enabling it. So we can copy this line here and paste it and change, simply change up to down. And again, to left and then again to Right. So what we need to do now is we need to make the script wait for just um, a split second while that animates. Now with an update, you can't actually use the usual yield wait for seconds because it generally doesn't like it. So just to prove a point, we will close them curly brackets there. And then if we go back into Unity and give it a second to think, it will hopefully tell us that we can't do what we want to do. Yes, so down here you can see uh, it can't be a coroutine. The reason you'll get that is because of this yield. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own function. So we'll do function waiting 
anim, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and then we'll take that yield, wait for seconds, cut it out, paste it in this function, and then these four lines that we've taken here, copy all them, paste them here, let's tidy up a touch, it's a bit messy, and change all these true to false. Just take a second there. Okay, so once you've done that, you can then close the function with a curly bracket, and then go back to your function update, and all you need to do here is type waiting, anim, open close bracket, and then semicolon, and save. So all, this, all that's happening here is on our function update, which is being called every frame, we check in to see if we're pressing our fire button. If we are, then we're running the animation, which we've set for our cursors, and then immediately going to our waiting anim function, which is here. And as soon as that begins, we wait for a split second and then disable our animations. So now if we go back into Unity, um, let's create a new game object. When Unity stop thinking. Uh, create empty and let's just call this cross hair um, object. So now what we need to do is we need to drag and drop this script we've just written onto our crosshair object and you'll see up curse, down curse, lower lip, all them there. We just need to drag and drop from our hierarchy each of the four cursors. So you go up, down, left, right. Now hopefully we should be able to press play and we can look around without our cursor animating and now if we press fire you can see that our cursor animates. So you can change your cursor as much as you want in the animation. If you go back to uh, animations here then up curse for example in the animation you can probably change this to let's say uh, let's change it to 30. Let's go down Oops. Okay, so you could have. So you could change that to 30. And let's try this one again. Animation of down cursor. Change that to minus 30. Left cursor. Minus 30 on that one. Then right cursor, 30 on that one. So you should see that when we fire now, the cursor, the cursors kind of expand a little bit more than what they did. So you can set that to whatever you want to animate however you want. Okay, so we'll leave that tutorial there for now. Uh, we've got our crosshair in place so we can actually see where we're aiming. Um, next episode we're going to be looking at some more GUI, some more scripting because we're going to need to kind of see how much ammo we've got, how much ammo we can pick up. We'll probably put in maybe a texture or two for an ammo crate. Eventually we'll start building everything up so we've got an actual level to play, enemies to shoot and tons of different things. Um, so until next time, play with your GUI, fiddle it however you want to and just um, play with Unity. Um, so, like I say, that's the end. Um, thank you very much for watching.